This exercise is called dropping anchor. Dropping anchor involves noticing the breath and the body. It also involves noticing using the senses. This exercise can be especially useful at times when you feel distressed as a way of anchoring yourself or weathering the storm. Weathering the storm is a bit like the way that a ship drops anchor during a storm, keeping it safe and secure until that storm has passed. This exercise does include some physical movement, but please remember that this exercise, like others, shouldn't cause you any pain. Please adapt the exercise if you need to, and only do what feels comfortable for you. You can choose to go through this exercise, either standing or sitting, or perhaps even laying down. If you can, begin the exercise by straightening your back, and then gently closing your eyes or resting your gaze on a spot on the floor. Notice the ground and the support it provides beneath your feet. Gently move your weight from side to side, noticing how your contact with the ground changes. If you are able to, now firmly press your fingertips together, arms held out in front of you. Notice how tension builds in the fingers, in the hands, the arms, the shoulders, perhaps even in the back or the chest. If your eyes are closed, open them now and notice how the appearance of the fingers changes as tension builds and blood rushes away. Notice how it feels when you stop pushing your fingers together as you let this tension go. Now, if you can, make a stretch with your arms or shrug your shoulders. As you do so, pay attention to the movement of the muscles, the ebb and flow of tension in the body. Now perform an internal weather check, noticing and acknowledging any thoughts or emotions that come, that go, perhaps even linger around. Acknowledge any difficult feelings that are present, naming them if this feels okay to do. For example, in your mind or under your breath saying, here is stress, here's anxiety, here's frustration, or here is pain. Now notice that there's a body around these feelings, a body that you can move and control. Stretch your body and firmly press your feet into the ground once again. Now notice the breath. And just spend a moment paying attention to the body's rhythm, that rise and fall as you breathe in and out. And as we move to end this exercise, opening up your eyes and engaging with the room or the environment around you, using now whatever senses you can, for example, the things you can see, hear, touch, taste or smell. And remember, you can come back to practice this exercise at any point, in any place. This could be at home, in the hospital, or elsewhere if you're feeling worried or distressed 